Hey guys, it's Will here. Well, it's November 1st, 2017, so I'm going to do my October 2017 earnings from the internet revenue. And it's a multiple sources of income. That's what I recommend. You guys have a lot of different sources and they all add up. And um, my main niche that I have is a uh, weight loss, a health diet, recipes sort of thing. And um, I've got a few other things that I'm playing around with but at this point for me it's kind of a maintenance mode I'm not doing very much work uh, so I, I want to emphasize that once you get a following and you have some products it can be really easy to you know just do automate some posts to social media just check the comments you know maybe once a day or less and then um, you know occasionally maybe post a video uh, but and the emails, or I have sequences for that. So a lot of automation. Um, I can do a broadcast. I can send a few manual emails with ConvertKit when I want to do a sale or something like that. But all right. So anyway, last uh, in September was really good. I had this uh, affiliate promotion that was quite successful. So that was up to in Canada 5,600. But this month is back down to kind of in the normal range of 2,000. And uh, another quick note is that my expenses are pretty low. I have, uh, you can see here, 99 US, which is the email service. The 985 is the hosting. 49 is Meet Edgar, which does my automated social media posts to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And, um, and then I convert that to the current exchange rate. So. My revenue is a combination of YouTube ads revenue that just go onto my channel, not very much. Amazon ebook or uh, Amazon links to um, products that people buy on Amazon, like in my case, kitchen related stuff, ingredients, and anything else they buy, happen to buy when they're there through my link. Patreon is a site where you donate or people donate to support, support me. I don't really push that very much. Lean Pub. Is my ebooks used to be on Lean Pub, and I don't, they're just still there, but I don't, that's not my main area. Amazon Kindle, so I put my two ebooks on Amazon. And then um, Gumroad is actually where I host my ebooks. So it's kind of a modern place for hosting ebooks. And also, when people buy it, it, it updates my email uh, service provider, which tags them as a buyer so if I wanted to target some higher priced items you could instead of just sending it to all your email list you can target people who are buyers who are lucky to buy again ConvertKit is that email service I have I think one person every month is a nice it's a recurring subscription so every month I get that this uh, food revolution summit there is a um, a promotion that they're doing which is um, a couple of online events and then they promote like a DVD or some kind of workshop or boot camp and you get commissions for that. And then this one here is Truth About Cancer. That was another affiliate product. I just put that on the column here instead of what it was before. So that was not very successful. It wasn't really relevant to my niche. There's a lot of non-plant-based speakers but there was one or two at least that were plant-based but um, for whatever reason that didn't do very well so I just show what I do is I show you just to show you the evidence um, I, I usually have these already opened up just give me a second here YouTube um, so when you go to YouTube if you have a channel you can enable monetization and uh, YouTube will show ads on your videos and, and maybe some banner graphics and so you can get some income from that I have actually got like three or so channels but that's the main one so if we go to the um, creator studio there's um, in, an analytics section where you can look at the analytics people watch your videos see where people are dropping off and all that but um, I'm just gonna go and show you the um, the revenue which is the um, for the month of 
October. So I'll just click on revenue here. It's set the last 28 days. That's close enough. These aren't 100% accurate, but they're pretty close. So 110.36, that's from October 3rd. So I could adjust that to make it the month of October, but I didn't do that. So 110.36, if we go to my spreadsheet, you can see 110.36. And the other ones have a $3 or $3.34. I'm not going to show you those. Those are on my other channels. So there's not much going on there. Um, Amazon, like I said, is the, you can see here, 171. So basically, there was a uh, instant pot, which is a, sort of a pressure cooker. And that was on sale. That was a big thing. So that's something I noted. So if you have something that's on sale, relevant to your niche, that's a great way to promote it. Um, I just did that on social media. And, and here you can see every day. So, I mean, I make some money even when people buy other things that aren't related to what I'm promoting because it, Amazon tracks that. So that's 171. Patreon, I don't do much with that. Where is that? Did I open that up? Um, yeah, here it is. So you can see $12. Not very much. I'm not really promoting that at all. But it might make neat, might make sense for your niche. There's certain niches where supporting Patreon is is um, really valuable. So if you do videos and put out content, you can ask for. I've seen computer programmers do it. I've seen political type people who have a channel supporting them because people want to promote that that philosophy. So that's only 12 bucks. Lean Pub. Like I said, was the older way, so I just took the 2240. These are unpaid royalties. Just um, a couple of books sold here and there. It was if happened, maybe through Google searches. Amazon Kindle is the ebook, so I've got 110 from the US.com and then .co.uk, which is 1180. So I add those two together. You can see up here. Um, Gumroad is where my current ebooks are, so I just take the past 30, 30 days, 446, put that in that cell. 1470, that's the same, I'm not going to show you that. It's just a monthly recurring thing. This was, I added up a couple things here. Um, let's see. Yeah, so 437.83, that was from that previous Brightline Eating. So you can see 437. The 98 is, um, let's see if I have that. Yeah, that's this current um, event that's got a couple of plant-based speakers and then they promote some workshops or uh, this is thing here, uh, plant thriving power, power, uh, sort of 247 and I get 40 percent so a good commissions on that and good price for the product 247 so that's just started there's a couple of it's just a small event there's a couple of speakers coming up and uh, so hopefully in October I'll get a few more sales on that promotion and then the truth about cancer didn't do that well 7880 is what they're showing me there might be more I don't know if they start to upsell them in, in the future in this this month or something like that but uh, so that gives me a total of the 1517 and then I convert that to Canadian which is pretty high 29% so that gives me 2000 and then I spent about 200 on the expenses which is pretty low but um, you know you need email if you have a couple thousand emails or less you can use MailChimp it's free you don't need to automate your social media posts but I just want to show you um, my email this is slow and steady every day I get you know 16 or it shows you here um, sometimes you know just a few and then you get 10 this one's here up to like 16 or 17 16 so you know probably averaging 10 or so a day and then what I do is I also prune the cold subscribers so I've actually recently cut thousand subscribers out who weren't opening emails or anything so I keep it pretty uh, lean and mean so if you look at my uh, stats here, if I go to my broadcasts, which are the ones that you send out manually during like a promotion, I just did one the other day. Um, 
I sent one out today, but I'll show you ones from a couple days ago. Um, here, so 37% open rate, which is pretty good, I think. This one here, 34% open rate. So right around here, I, I pruned all the cold subscribers, people that don't open or view any, click any links or anything. Sometimes they just sign up, take your free ebook, and then they they never look at it again. So um, you get good percentage open rates, and if you you know if you prune your subscribers. One other cool thing I did with email is I put um, a link at the bottom where they can unsubscribe from the current promotion. So if you're sending like three or four emails or five or whatever about a, let's say, truth about cancer or some, this one's this live online event, you can get people to unsubscribe just from that um so here I have a, a little link here. So they can opt out of these emails. So if I'm going to be sending emails for like the next three, four, five days to promote something, some people won't want to see that and they'll end up unsubscribing from your, your whole list. So this link here tags them as not wanting to receive it. And then when I send out the next broadcast, I say filter out the people who don't want to get these emails. So that's a great way to keep people on your list if you don't want to you know, if, you, if you're planning on sending a bunch of emails about a, a promotion or affiliate program and you don't want to uh, lose everybody. And I've got my, my sequence, which is when people sign up to my email list, they get a, a sequence of emails every few days. And you can set, you know, every day or every other day or every week, once a week. So these are automatic as well. And then the email, this is the uh, Meet Edgar I've got all my posts. I'll show you the schedule because that's pretty. That's the cool thing. So you you add a bunch of content and you categorize it like funny or educational or controversial or whatever, and then you can create a schedule. And this is repeating every week, so you don't have to keep posting it yourself. I notice with email you can't really loop around stuff. So I have like a lot of recurring things like recipes and weight loss advice. So every day I just create the schedule and it automatically sends these out. And then I can go to social media and look at the comments and I can see on Facebook people that have commented and reply to them. So it's not like you're just automating it and not dealing, interacting with anybody because a lot of people think if you automate, you know, you're not engaging people, you're not responding, but that's not true at all. You just go to Facebook and, and check your, uh, your comments and messages as much as you want daily basis. So this type of business is really easy once you have, if you have, if you found affiliate programs or you have your own eBooks, uh, once you just keep posting and building up a following, putting out useful content, and then like this is pretty much on autopilot. Like I'm spending right now most of my day learning various computer languages, some of the newer stuff, just my interest level and reading and stuff like that. And I hardly do much at all. In my case, I do like to share food. Like if I take a food pic because it helps people with what I eat and how I lost weight. It's so easy just with your camera, take a picture of your meal, post it to Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. And uh, that's, that's not really hard work at all. So, and a lot of times I don't even bother because the lighting's not good or the meal doesn't look that great or whatever. Um, so, but that's, that's about it. And then a video on YouTube, I can even do that with my smartphone. I can record a few clips and just chain them together and upload it to YouTube. And then I just might go on my desktop and add a description, but it's really minimal work. Uh, if I do a grocery haul, I go to the store, I might film that. I might. Um, so it's, it's pretty amazing when you think about it, but um, you know, the lifestyle you can have. And I've got some ideas about stuff I want to do in the future, uh, potentially with the computer programming, do some videos on teaching people that. And there's people I know that I've found that are doing quite well with Patreon and some courses online on Udemy and stuff like that. So right now, the, the ability to make money and help people online teaching them something, and that's what I see this as. Like I have guitar lessons. I teach guitar. I teach plant-based eating. I'm probably going to teach more on computers. And um, having courses online, having e-books, promoting relevant affiliate programs that you approve of and like in, that, that makes sense for your niche, and ha building up an email list, that's really the key. That's really all there is to it. And uh, so I wish you guys luck. I do these to try to help and inspire you. 
and let me know what you think. talk to you guys later.